Snakes increased month over month, consistently growing by at least 4% each period since September 2012. Our next guest has raised some $45 million in venture capital funding through her real estate investment company, and she was just named by Forbes in this year's fourth annual 30 Under 30 list, which recognizes the brightest minds across a range of different fields. And getting up early to join us today, Julian Hellman, founder, CEO of RealtyMogul.com, joining us from New York. Uh, Julianne, first of all, congratulations. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, we were just talking about uh, the housing market in the U.S. Kay Schiller telling us that we've seen a steady advance uh, for home pricing continuing this year. You know, you, you tell me, I mean, how do you see things right now in uh, U.S. real estate? Yeah, we've continued to see appreciation in U.S. real estate, and I think that we'll continue to see it for some time. You know, when you look at the volatility of the stock market and the bond market, real estate continues to go up in today's market. You oversee, what, half a billion dollars in real estate across the top 25 U.S. housing markets. Are there good deals out there still? I think there's absolutely still good deals. And one of the things that we're looking at is transactions that can also perform in a recession. So, for example, we're big investors in a mobile home park fund. And investors need a place to live in good times and bad times. And you really had a very revolutionary idea, crowdfunding, that's very new in the real estate space. First of all, how did you come up with that idea specifically? And is it really catching on? So I grew up in a real estate family and learned real estate around the dinner table. And I always wanted to provide access to more investors. And crowdfunding was the perfect way to do that. You can give access to tens of thousands of investors online and make it as easy to buy stocks or bonds online. And it's absolutely catching on. Um, does it bother you sometimes that you're getting a lot of attention because you're a woman and because you're included in the 30 on the 30 on the Forbes list? Does it make a difference to you? What, what gender you are? Do you like that sort of attention? So genders never really matter to me. It's always about out hustling and out executing. But I think that attention is a great thing when you're trying to build a brand. You know, we've always been trying to build a brand at RealtyMogul.com, and our mission has been to be omnipresent and build the brand in any way, shape, or form that we can. I don't think gender should ever matter. Uh, let me ask you, though, Julian, you know, let's get back to that theme that you're talking about, the mobile home parks uh, fund that you were starting up. You know, to me, is that housing, really? It is housing, right? So you've got individuals who are living in mobile home parks. Interestingly, in the United States, over 20 million Americans live in mobile home parks today. But, okay, isn't there a stigma attached to that, Jillian? Because some people see that as maybe, maybe, I, I'm just voicing it for you, that uh, might be low class. I mean, what, would you want to live in a mobile home? So for us, it's less about living in a mobile home and more about investing in mobile home parks. So providing people a safe, comfortable place to live and generating income off of the cash flow from the rents that those individuals are paying. I mean, I think that... It depends on how people want to live. Many people are perfectly happy in mobile home parks. Other people may want to live in apartment buildings or single-family homes. Jillian, I'm just curious. What's the average return for some of the investments that you've put out there? It ranges pretty widely. You know, if you're looking at a higher-risk investment, you're going to have a higher return. If you're looking at a lower-risk investment, you're going to have a lower return. Just give me a couple numbers here. Could be anywhere from 7 or 8 percent all the way up to 18 to 20 percent. It's not too bad given that we're in a low interest rate environment. Jillian Hellman, thank you so much for your time this morning. Jillian Hellman, founder and CEO at RealtyMogul.com. Okay.